Hello, welcome to SS Unitex to see this side and this is continuation of Azure Databricks tutorial. So today we are going to see about the widget utilities. So what is the widget utility? So that we will see. So basically widget utility is very important and it will allow us to create the parameters inside the notebook. So we have not seen how we can create the parameters and we will be reading the data from that parameters. So by using this utility, we can implement. So here inside the commands, as we can see, we are having few of the important commands like combo box, drop down, text and multi select. So these four commands will be going to use for creating the parameters. And by using the get and get argument, we will be reading the parameter values and by using the remove we will be removing the these four commands parameters if those are available in the notebook so let's start with one by one so first go with the combo box let me quickly go inside the browser and here first let me try to use the db utils dot help so inside the help we will be seeing about these are the available methods so here we can see this widget so let me try to use the widget here and execute it so under this we can see we are having the combo box drop down get get argument multi select remove remove all and text so all these commands we will be covering in this video so let's go with the first one which is the combo box and try to see about combo box combo box will be taking the parameter that we can see as name then we can pass the default value of that and after that we can also provide the choices and then we can see the level so like it will be having four input parameters first is the name of the combo box second will be the default value third will be the choices as an in combo box fourth will be the level so let me try to create the first widget utility parameter so here we can use the db utils dot widget dot we can use the combo box now the first parameter is the name so let me call like country and after that we can call this as combo box for cp so this will be your parameter name second we can see the default value so we can pass the default value as an india so it will be having india now third parameter will be the choices so inside the choices we can add the choices something first choice as an in india inside the second choice that could be us third choice that could be pakistan fourth choice that could be uk and last we will be specifying the label so label what it going to display so i just want to display this as country combo box let me try to execute it so we should be seeing this input parameter and in this combo box as we can see india and that is by default selected and all these four is available in this values so this country cb is label so let me try to delete this first and here we can see the label name that is the country cb if you are going to specify underscore then this will be with the underscore default value is india then all these choices is available so by using this we can create the combo box similarly we can also create the another parameter for the drop down so let me try to see db utils dot with get dot help here we have seen about the combo box this time we want to see about the drop down so let me use the drop down as an input parameter of the help so it will be displaying about the description of this so here we can say it is again asking about the name of the drop down then the default value then the choices then the label so the same thing that we have seen inside the combo box will be available inside the drop down as well so let me try to use the db utils so db utils dot widgets dot now we can see the drop down so we can use this 
command drop down first will be the input parameter name so this for the drop downs i'm going to call this as country drop down so this is the name second we can see the default value so default value again i'm going to pass as an india then we can see the choices so inside the choices we can have the choices something india first next choice we can have sri lanka next choice we have australia and last choice could be new zealand now last parameter for the level so i want to display the level of this as country drop down let me try to execute and we will be seeing two input parameters so here we can see the drop down of the country so again it will be having all four values that we can see new zealand australia india and sri lanka so this is for the drop down now let me try to go and see for the another one that is multi select so let me try to execute this help command and here we can see the multi select so let me try to see the description of the multi select so it will be going to execute and here we will be seeing again it is asking the same thing like the name default value choices and the level so like all these four parameters are same for these three with get commands so let me try to use the db utils dot with get dot multi select now first is the name of the parameter so i am going to call this as country multi select next we can see the default value so i am going to pass as an india next inside the choices so i am going to use the india next i am going to use the pakistan next i am going to use the australia next i am going to use the south africa so these are the choices and the level i want to use the level of this multi select as country multi select let me try to execute it so this time we can see we are having this country multi select and while we are selecting so it will be multi selecting values like all these now let me try to unselect so this is for the multi select now let me try to check the last one which is the text so what that will be doing so let me try to execute this help command first and inside the help command let me scroll in the downside so this is the text command so the text command is having the name default value and level remember other three commands are having the same four input parameters but in case of the text it will not be having any choice choice means default values we are not having so that's why we can see the choices is not available in case of the text so similarly we can also use the db utils dot with gets dot text the first parameter as we can see the name so i am going to call this as country and this is for the text so i am going to use the txt next parameter is the default value so i am going to use the default value as an australia this time next here we can see the label so inside the label i am going to call this country text let me try to execute we will be having four input parameters so this is for the drop down this is for the multi select this is for the country text by default is australia and this is for the combo box as we can see so you can remember very easily like except text other three are having four input parameters choices default value name and level and the text will not be having choices that is understood we should not be providing the choices here and that should not be available so that's why we cannot add the choices so this is all about the commands for creating the parameters now the next question will come in the mind how we can read all these parameter values so for reading the parameter values here we can see the two commands for the get and get argument so let me try to use these two first and then we'll see the difference so for reading values from the parameter let me use the db utils dot with gets dot here we need to supply the get command 
and under the get command we can see we are having this drop down so let me try to access the values of this drop down so inside the get command here we can supply the name of the parameter so the name of the parameter remember for the drop down we are supplying something like country dd so we can copy this and the same name we can use under the get let me try to execute it so as we can see india because we have selected india so if we will select new zealand automatically it will be executing and we'll see the new zealand so we are not required to execute manually these cells once we are making the changes on the parameters it will be executed automatically if we are accessing those parameters inside the cell now let me try to use for the multi select so instead of the dd we can simply use the multi select and try to execute we will see the pakistan as we can see if we are going to select the multiple values like the pakistan and india then that will be appearing by using an e string with the comma separated values if you are going to select south africa then it will be having three values with the comma separated pakistan india and south africa in the last one we can also use the combo box so we can simply pass the name of the combo box parameter and we'll see india and similarly for the text of the country so for the text box we can see australia if you are going to pass any another value something pakistan and once we tab it will automatically executed and we'll see the pakistan so the same thing we can also achieve by using the get argument command so let me try to use the get argument command and quickly show you it will be returning the same output we will see the pakistan here and if we are going to check for the multi select then we will be seeing pakistan india and south africa if you are going to see for the drop down we will see sri lanka for sure and for the combo box we will see india so that we can see india then what is the difference difference is we can also pass one more parameter on the get argument and that parameter if this name is not available like your parameter is not available then instead of throwing an error this time quickly show you let me try to remove this and execute it so it will be going to throw an error and it is saying like there is no any with get our label with this name and we don't want to throw an error so by using the get command it will always throw an error but in case of the get argument command we can simply say like the error parameter is not available something like that we want to display let me try to execute and we'll see so this time what it is reflecting it is not throwing an error it is reflecting what we have specify in the second parameter if your value parameter is not available if you are passing the correct one then we should be seeing the value as an in india and if we are not passing the correct one and it will be reflecting the second parameter so this is something like the case statement if this is available then it will return that value if it's not then it will be returning this value now we have done with the get and get argument let me quickly show you about the remove so remove is going to use for removing the parameter inside the notebook so simply we can use the db utils dot with gets dot remove then we can simply pass the name so again we can pass the name of the parameter so i am going to remove the combo box you can see the combo box is available once we will be executing this the combo box is gone that you can see combo box is not there now the last one we want to remove all the parameters so how we can do that simply instead of using one by one we can remove the input parameter and we can use the remove all and we can execute and all these parameters should gone so it is throwing an error because we have to use all as in caps so that we can see error has been gone so this is all about the with get utility one thing that you have noticed we are passing the choices as an static value 
but in the real time this option should not be there we should be getting these values from any table so how we can use that table and this will be going to pass as a dynamic we'll see in the next video and we can also create all these with get by using the sql so in the next video we will be going to see how we can create all these with get utility commands by using the sql and second we'll see how we can pass choices as in dynamic so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video